Anderson is a good kid. He always tries to show his best to his parents. But then one day, something really terrible happened to his family. I'm gonna show this to my dad. He will be so proud of me. I did everything I could so I can make him proud of me. Let's show him. Honey, please quiet down, will you? Your typing sound on the keyboard is too loud. I'm trying to read book here. Sorry, honey. I'm arguing with a colleague about work. It's obvious that he did something wrong, but he kept blaming me. So the boss turned to scold me for no reason. I was making excuses. I'm really mad right now. Oh, I didn't know that. Dad, Dad, look, look. Look at my grade. Did you see it? Did you see it? Anderson, I don't have time for this. Go back to your room and study. I'm really busy at the moment. No, you have to see it. I got a plus, Dad. Aren't you proud of me? Anderson, I really don't have time for this. Oh my. I'm, um, sorry. Just go to your room and study, Anderson. I'm not really in the mood to share happy feelings with you. Oh, okay. I get it. I won't disturb you anymore. I will go to my room then. Anderson, wait. I'm sure he will understand for me. There's no need to overdo it. Come on. He's just trying to show off his grades to you. It was the first time he got an A+. It's normal. Who can't get A? I used to show off my points to my dad. He didn't say anything. Then you're going back to the same old path as your father. You are not showing your love to him. Anderson, can you open the door for me? I'm very busy right now. Mom, I don't want to talk. Anderson, I know you really wanted to show your joy with Dad when you got an A+. I don't want to hear anything. Mom, I hate him. Please go away. I'm very busy and I don't want to hear or share anything. <sighs> okay, if you want to share something, you know I'm always here for you. I hate him. I hate him. Why did he treat me like that? A little happiness moment with me won't hurt anything. The next day. Why hasn't he come to pick me up? He's supposed to be here by now. Is it possible that because of what happened yesterday, he didn't come to pick me up? I guess I have to walk home now. Hi, Henry. Lucas, what are you doing here? I don't want to talk to you after what you did to me. I'm here to talk about it and I'm really sorry. I'm such a bad colleague to you. I shouldn't have done that to you yesterday. I talked to boss and I took it all on myself. But if you do it, you will have your salary deducted this month. I know and I have to accept that. I'm sorry for everything. Okay, fine. I accepted your apology. But what changed you? Normally you try to put others down. Oh, it's because of my daughter. She called me dad dad for the first time. I was also very upset at the time. But then she said her first word was daughter. And I'm so so happy about that. And a moment like that can change many things, including my mood. Oh, it's time. I should go back to my baby girl. Can a moment like that change everything? Are you ready to pick Anderson up? Do you think what happened yesterday hurt Anderson? I felt so guilty. All he wants to do is share the joy with me. Yet I pushed him away. It's not too late to make up for him, Henry. You still got the chance to talk to him. Okay, I will go buy him a gift, the best gift ever. He may not be satisfied right now because he has to walk home. But this will be my compensation for him. That is what I am talking about. Let's give him a big surprise. I'm so excited to surprise him. He must be very angry right now. Ha ha, we're almost home. I don't know where that fire happened. Hope that fire doesn't kill anyone. Yeah, we should go back to Anderson soon. Oh, oh no. no! Oh my god, what happened? I don't know either. We got a call and came here as fast as possible. That is my house. I need to go inside to find my son. Seven years later. So, what's wrong with my baby's health, Doc? I'm sorry when I have to tell you this. We did everything we could. We tried our best to save him. The baby's health is too weak because he was born prematurely. I'm sorry. We did everything to save his life. <laughs> I understand. I have to accept the truth. He's dead. Babe, you don't have to be strong like that. I said I'm fine, okay? 
Okay, okay, I won't say anything. Mom, Dad, I'm here. Sorry for this late. I'm so excited to meet my brother. Can I meet him? Where is he? I'm sorry, I can't give you a brother. He's gone, Dwight. The doctor said they did everything possible to save his life. He couldn't make it after all. So I'm sorry, Dwight. I couldn't give you a brother. Oh my god, don't say that, Mom. I'm really sorry to hear that. I don't know what to say at the moment. This feels like the pain of our whole family. A couple of hours later. How are your feelings right now? I think I need to be alone. You can rest now, Mom. I will make some juice for you to feel better. Come on, honey. Let me take you to our room. Thank you, honey. I will take the bathroom a few minutes. This was a real shock to her. I don't know if she can bear it alone. <laughs> so all dreams of having children disappear. Now I have nothing left. Why did this happen to me? Or I just want another son to me. Why did you take him away from me? Gosh, this is truly the greatest pain of loss for her. Sometime later. Mom, can I come in? You can come in, Dwight. How are you feelings, Mom? I have a bowl of porridge just finished. You should eat while it's still hot. Thank you, dear. You are so thoughtful. Dwight, are you feeling sad? Yes, we are all sad, Mom. Do you actually want to have a brother? Do you really want it? Give me your answer. I need to know your answer. Mom, slow down. Why are you giving me these questions? Is something on your mind? If you really want to have a brother, I can give you. Mom, what's wrong with you? Your baby is gone. Stop talking nonsense thing. No, no, I'm thinking about adopting a brother for you, Dwight. Really? You are thinking about adopting a brother for me? That's true, if you really want to have a brother. Of course, I want to have a brother. But is this being rushed? I mean, you just lost your son, and now you already wanted to adopt a new brother for me. Are you sure this is what you really wanted? Aren't you being deprived of affection and want to adopt a child to make up for it? No, no, I'm sure everything will be okay. I'm thinking very clearly right now. We should adopt a new brother for you, Dwight. You have a new brother and I have a new son. Our family will have a new member. Doesn't that make everyone happy? Okay, if that makes you happy, Mom. Great, then we should go to the orphanage now. Aren't we supposed to talk to Dad too? He already knew and he's on way there. Oh. Come on, Dwight. We're going now. Okay, okay, Mom. Dad, you're here. That's fast. Well, your mom and I, we discussed everything last night. And the rest is just waiting for a yes from you. Come on, let's go inside and meet the manager. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our orphanage. Hi there. So, I got a call from you. You wanted to adopt a brother, right? Yes. We wanted to adopt a brother for my son so he could have someone to play with. Actually, I feel I really don't need a little brother right now. But because of my mother's wish to have a younger brother, I had to comply with her will. I think she needs a new son right now to make up for the lost one. Okay, it's a wise choice that you chose our orphanage to adopt child for you. Hum. This is the best case for options. Choose children between the ages of 10 and 14. The other child cases all have a trait that doesn't fit the criteria you give us. So I think this is best choice for you, ma'am. What do you think, honey? Looking at his profile, I can see that his face is bright and he's good at studying. I think he might suit us, I guess. It's your call, honey. Can I go somewhere else? It's kind of bored, here. Okay, but don't go anywhere too far from here. I won't. I just go to see if there is something cool around here. Hum, this orphanage is really big, though. Maybe this place is bigger than my house. It's good that the orphans have a home to return to. Oh wow, there is something. Oh my, this old plane toy. I used to have this one before, but I lost it. They don't make this plane anymore. There are still people who know how to keep toys carefully. Hey, what the heck are you doing? Put that plane down and get the fuck out of my room right now. Oh, this is your room? I didn't mean to enter your room. But I saw the toy here. 
Put my toy down right now or I swear I will punch you in the face. You are nobody to hold that plane toy. Put it down. Okay, okay. Chill out, bro. No need for that action. There. I put it down. Happy. Don't ever touch anything that doesn't belong to you. Okay, relax. I'm not trying to break or do something with that plane. I just saw it as a rare toy from a long time ago, so I was curious. Get the heck out of here. I don't care who you are and I don't need to hear your excuses. Fine. Jesus, that guy is really crazy. He is that growing up and still playing with children's toys. Well, I think he will be perfect for our family. Even though it's not exactly my criteria. But this is the best choice. I still adopt him. Excellent choice, ma'am. I will call him here. So, do you find anything interesting? No, it's boring here. So, this is Anderson. Anderson, say hello to your new family. It's, it's you. you. You two boys knew each other. Dwight, who is he? We didn't know each other, but I already hate him. That's an unacceptable reason. You don't even know each other yet, but already hate each other. What kind of reason is that? I just touched his toy for one second, and he already yelled at me. If I don't want to say it outright, he's insulting me. You have no right to touch my thing without my permission. Didn't your mother teach you that? You. Stop, both of you. No more insulting each other. Dwight, you will have to get along with your brother, because we already signed the adoption contract. Say sorry to him. I won't say anything to the person who insulted me. You two are brothers now. Well, technically, it's you are the one who needs a brother more than me. I really don't need a brother. What what? How could you say that? Hum, we will deal with him later. Hey Anderson, ready to come home yet? I would love to show you out of our house. Hum, let's see what they get. Okay, fine. Dwight, you do not act like that. Come back here right now. Welcome to our house, my son. The house is that simple, but it's filled with our family's love. Come on, let's go inside the house. You stay right there, Dwight. Do not take any steps closer to that stairs. You will be grounded if you take one more step. I mean it, Dwight. This is not a joke. Fine, I won't take another step. But you have to make Anderson say sorry to me too. Come on, Anderson is a new member in our family. Besides, you're the one wrong first. Don't touch other people's stuff without permission. That's what I taught you from a young age. But that doesn't mean he will speak to me with insults. Come on, just say sorry to him. What makes it so difficult for you? Just one word sorry and everything will back to normal. You made the welcome atmosphere is very intense. You will make him feel uncomfortable. What about my feelings? Dwight, Anderson, both of you, that's enough. Can you just say sorry to each other for me, please? I really don't want to make a bad impression on each other when we first meet. Fine. Fine. Sorry for touch thing without permission. Sorry for insulting you. Well, is that a lovely thing? I hope we will be a good family. Dwight, can you show him his room? Okay, mom. I hope they will get along with each other soon. Yeah, I hope it too. Maybe I'll have an impact remotely to make things more convenient with them. Okay, here is your room. This room was supposed to belong to my newborn brother, but he's gone. So now it's all yours. Hmm, <laughs> okay. I still can't have the reason why you still have that toy plane. No, it's not your concern. Boys, do you need any help? No, you get out of my room right now. What? what? I just came in. Everything is done now. Phew! This is so much pressure for me to face him. What did I do? Did I do something wrong? I don't know. He's suddenly acting like that. Hum, that's weird. I just wanted to talk to him. Maybe he's still shy, I guess. Okay, you will take him to school tomorrow. Fine, Dad. Late at night. Mom, Dad. Mom, Dad, help me. Ouch, it hurts. Freaking God, why, why? Stop haunting me, please. I never want all of this to happen to me. Spare me, God. I know my fault. 
I don't want to have the same nightmare every time I close my eyes. The next day. Boys, breakfast time and ready for school. Okay, mom, one minute. Where is Anderson? I don't know. I'ma call him. Anderson, what are you doing here? Let's eat breakfast. What's wrong? Are you still unfamiliar with us? Look, that's okay if last night you couldn't sleep. But you should say something so we could help you with that. We will deal together, okay? I don't want to talk to you. I think you adopted the wrong son. Just give him more time. This is still his first day with us. Well, I'm gonna catch up with him. Dude, slow down. Why are you keeping your emotionless face all along? Hey, stop. If you don't like my family, why do you still want to come to my family? I'm bored at the orphanage, so I chose another place to stay. What? I cannot accept that reason. So what are you gonna to do with that? Tell your parents about the reason, huh? If I remember correctly, you said your mother needed me. It doesn't matter if you need me or not, as long as your mother needs me, you can't do anything to me. You. Goddamn he's totally right. As long as my mom needs him, he still can be in the house. After the school. Mom, I'm home. Hi, you two. Oh wait, where is Anderson? How should I know? You left him at school alone. Mom, he is not a kid anymore. Besides, I'm not a babysitter. I can't be with him all day. I have something else to do. If you like that, how can he get along with our family? Then you should adopt someone else, not someone like Anderson. Dwight, you cannot say that. No one is perfect. Who is not perfect? Anderson, hi. Son, you're home. How is your first day? Who is not perfect? Um, no one. We're just gossiping, don't mind that. We're talking about you, Anderson. You're a terrible person, redeeming my family for your advantage. Dwight, stop talking. No, Mom, you need to hear and understand this. I don't want to hear anything from you. You are the one causing disunity in this family. Mom, why didn't you listen to me? Anderson, just don't mind him. So do you want something, juices or smoothies? Anderson, honey, if you need anything, just call me. Hey, honey. So have things gotten any better with Anderson? Not yet. Things haven't been better yet. I don't know if I made the mistake Dwight said. I was in too much of a hurry to adopt. And things didn't turn out the way I wanted. Did I have to high expectations? Honey, don't say that. If things don't go as expected, we will make things right. We adopted Anderson. If he's not what we think, we should do the best we can to fix him. But how are we gonna do if he's just like that? We didn't even have time to talk to him, when he didn't open up to us. I don't know, somehow we will figure it out together, okay? Okay. Later then. Anderson, I'm coming in. Hey, honey, what are you doing? I bring you orange juice. What do you want? Oh, I just want to talk to you. So how do you feel when you get a new bed and a whole new room? Okay, it's nice, right? You know what, this room should never have belonged to you. And there is no such thing I adopt you. If my newborn son is still alive, it took me some time to get over the pain of losing my son. But the pain couldn't be erased, so I came up with a quick decision. And here you are now. So can you just stop stay away from us and get along with us? I'm very happy and grateful if you do that. Will you, Anderson? Okay. So, what are you holding in your hand? Is that a plain toy? I used to buy for Dwight but he was very careless. He always loses his toys, doesn't know how to take care of them. I'm pretty sure you're a very careful person. If you still keep the toy, it must mean a lot to you. Can you share the story? No, I don't want to share anything. Please, get out of the, my room. Okay, okay. But I will think about it. That is a great start. Honey, it worked. Really? It did not actually work, but I knew I touched his sympathy. He said he would think about it. That's great. The first step of approaching him was a success. Then gradually we will be like a family member. I really have a strong faith. Yeah, hope it will be soon. Around round M. Mom, Dad. Anderson, don't you love us anymore? 
No, of course I still love you. Both of you. I can see you're starting to have the feelings for the parents, right? They told you a story and you had the sympathy for them. No, no. I don't have sympathy for them. I still love both of you the most. No, Mom, Dad, you're on fire. That's okay, son. We are like this because of you. No, I will save you. No, no, no. Oh, oh my, my god. And her son, are you okay? What happened? What is the noise? It's 3 a.m. in the morning. No, no. All of you get out of here. And her son, calm down. You just had a bad nightmare. No, no. I don't want to talk anything. What was that all about? I don't understand. I'm going back to sleep now. I have noticed this is the second time he's having a nightmare. But he kept shutting us out. He won't talk anything. What should we do? I don't know. So tired. Why does he have nightmares at 3 a.m.? Can he have a nightmare at day? Dude, I must have seen you yawn almost a dozen times this morning. Bad sleep last night? My psychotic brother Anderson keeps having nightmares. Two nights in a row. How can I sleep well when he's screaming all the time? And yesterday he fell off the bed. I wonder what kind of nightmare he had. And what annoys me the most is that he is more pampered by my parents. He is a difficult person to approach, living a closed life. Everything in his profile is a lie. I still don't understand why he hasn't been evicted yet. Just calm down. Just give him some more time to fit in with your family, bro. My parents said the same thing as you. But I don't know if we, especially me, gave him more time. Would he change? Just trust me, bro. Did I tell you that I was an orphan too? You're an orphan? Wows, now I'm having a good life with my new parent for 10 years now. Why do I only know now? Because I forgot to tell you, I guess. But it's not the main point here. When I was first adopted, it wasn't easy for me to join a new family. You never really know what's going on in someone else's life. I still remembered when my first day to the new family, a new place, new people that you knew that you have to get along with. I really scared, didn't know how to communicate or what to do because I have never received love from my loved ones. I felt so depressed and separated myself from them. But eventually, I met a family and they helped me get through together. If Anderson is a difficult person to approach, living a closed life, you simply need to be gentle with him. What do you mean by that? Try and see it from his perspective. Maybe you can understand why he did that. Wow, thanks, mate. You enlightened me a lot. I have never had such thoughts like you. It's true that only people who are in the same situation can understand each other. Glad to help you, bro. At home. Mom, Dad. I'm home. Where is everybody? Dude, the heck? Why did you come into my room by yourself? I haven't agreed to let you in the room yet. Where are mom and dad? How the heck should I know? Your parents let you stay home all day because you had a nightmare yesterday. But you also don't know where our parents are? Fine, they went out. We eat by ourselves. Okay, this is my chance I can get along with him. So, if they went out, what should we eat? Are you deaf? We eat by ourselves. Hey, I got an idea. We should go eat together and then we play video games. Why would I do that? I think this is the chance for us to get to know each other. I know we didn't have a good start in the first place. So I want to start over again. We can be like the real brothers in a family. Oh, really? You mean that? Yeah, this is a great opportunity. Can I ask one more question? Go ahead. Are you gay? What? What did you just say? No to boys in the world invite each other to eat, unless they are brothers. Does that mean I am not your brother? Of course not. I've never had a brother in my life. Okay, fine. F you. You little piece of shit. No more chance for him. I have had enough of him. The next day. Okay, good. He hasn't come home yet. Now is the time to pay back for what he said to me. Oh my god, why the F did you do that? What's wrong with you? Hey, hey, put that plane down right now. Oh, you want me to put the plane down? Okay. 
<laughs> Is that what you want? You mother f I will beat you. What? No. Oh my god. What have you done? You shouldn't have done that. Oh my god, what is going on here? Are you to fighting? You son of a bitch, you broke my toy. Wow wow. 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 Language. Dwight, you'd better explain what is going on here. Can't you see what is happening here? He broke my most precious thing. How can a toy plane be the most precious thing? Get out. All of you, get out of my face right now. Dwight, you'd better say sorry to him. I won't say anything. He should be the one to apologize to me first. I've been trying to mend this relationship. But if he doesn't want to, I don't care about him anymore. I said get out of my room. Dwight, I don't want to hear explanation. I need to hear apology. I won't say anything. He hurt my feelings. He deserved it. That's it. You're grounded for a month. This is so unfair. Where are you going? Come back here right now. Why did things turn out like this? Bro, you're home alone, right? Yeah, what's wrong? I need to stay at your house one night. I'm on my way now. Okay, you can come now. Dude, what happened? I'm so mad right now. Ah, oh, I need a place to release this anger. Chill, chill, relax. Tell me what happened. Still the story of the adopted brother. Yeah, I tried my best, dude. I'm tired and I took revenge on him. I destroyed his room and his toy. To- What? He's like six or something. He said that toy was the most precious thing. He always kept it by his side and won't let anyone touch it. I smashed it with the baseball bat today. I can clearly see the utter disappointment on his face. It's like when he heard the news of the loss of his loved one. I don't know if I'm making the mistake. Hum. As I guess, that tow plane could be a memento left by his parents. Oh my god, really? I guess, why did he keep that toy for such a long time? There must be a story behind it. You're right. That's probably why he didn't want to open up to everyone. But how can we make him share the story? You can go to the manager at the orphanage center. She might know something. Good idea. I will go to her tomorrow. Now I need something to relax. Let's play PS5. Okay, tonight is ours. Oh wait, I need to text to my mom that I will stay at your house tonight. The next day. Hi, miss. Who are you? A few days ago, my family adopted Anderson. Oh, I remembered. What's wrong with him? I just wanted to know what happened to him. Does he have a bad past? Walk with me. I will take you to this place. This is the grave of Anderson's parents. What happened to them? I only knew briefly that his parents died in the house fire when they are trying to save him. Such a tragedy for a family. This might be the reason why he always agonizes over their deaths. This could be the nightmare he's always had. But anyway, this is still something that shouldn't happen to anyone in life. Survivors are always the saddest. Later. Are you just showing up at home now? It's almost 11 p.m. You are still grounded, young man. I know. I'm sorry. I will go to my room now. Bro, can we talk? I know the reason why you have been like this to us. Anderson? What happened? <coughs> I don't know, but we need to find Anderson fast. <coughs> the fire is spreading out very quick. Anderson, you're here. Anderson, where are you? Ander, where? Oh my, Hannah, are you okay? I can't breath. <coughs> I can't find Anderson. Maybe he's not home. Come on, I will get you out of here. Mom, Dad, help me. Is that his voice? <coughs> I'm in the kitchen. Mom, Dad, help me. Hannah, <coughs> take Anderson out of here first. There is no time for hesitation. Okay, you stay here. I come back for mom. Please, come back soon. I want both of you to get out of there alive. The fire is too strong. Five minutes pass away. No, no, where are they? Sir, please, where are my mom and dad? I'm sorry, Cade. Anderson, wake up. Come on, Anderson, wake up.
Mom, Dad, I'm sorry, it's all my fault. Wake up. Dwight, what are you doing here? Dude, your face is all sweaty. I'm pretty sure your nightmare comes true. You don't know anything. Get out of here. Is the nightmare about your parents dying in a house fire? Why did you say that? You don't know anything. The manager told me everything. I know this is really hard for you. I know why you're always like this now. I know why you always avoid my family's love. Shut up. Shut up. You don't know anything about me. Stop being so stubborn like that, Anderson. How much longer do you have to suffer this? You need to fight to get over that nightmare. It happened a long time ago and you need to get over it. What's going on here, boys? Dwight, when did you get home? Mom, Dad, Anderson is just having a nightmare and I woke him up. I know why he always avoided our family's love. <laughs> it's okay, Anderson, I'm here now. You can let it all out. I'm here for you now. Anderson, can you share with us your story so we might feel your feelings right now? It was all my fault that I caused their death. That was the day I was very angry with my father. He didn't come to pick me up at school and I had to walk home. When I got home, I didn't see my parents at home, so I cooked by myself. While cooking, I was distracted by thoughts of hating my father. After that, a fire suddenly broke out and I was confused as to what to do. I tried to put out the fire but because I inhaled so much smoke, I passed out. About 15 minutes later, I heard fire truck and I heard my mom and dad voice. I was surrounded by fire. They saved my life but they couldn't save their life. And that plane toy was the last gift from my dad. Oh god, I'm so sorry. It doesn't matter now. I blamed myself for everything. They died because of me, it's all my fault. And you gotta to live with it, Anderson. No matter how painful it is to be reminded of it. Let that pain become your motivation to live, Anderson. Don't let that pain overwhelm your mind and push everyone who loves you away from you. She's right, Anderson, don't do that. We all want the best for you. It's because we had a misunderstanding at the orphanage that we got off to a bad start with each other. But now everyone knew your past. You don't have to hide from us anything. You can talk to us. Let us have empathy with you. Don't keep a painful past in your heart. It will kill you, dude. Okay, you're right. I'm so sorry for everything. I have been keeping this painful past for so long now. Maybe it's time for me to keep moving forward. Maybe I should accept everyone's love and let the past go. You are doing the right thing, son. We will try to make you feel as happy as possible. Thank you for not abandoning me. Don't say that. We're family now. And family won't leave anyone behind. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, all of you. And now Anderson is able to let go of the painful past and receive love from Dwight's family. Thank you for watching.